是一个坚韧不。Yo, Bayern, wake up. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Malucky back at it with another YouTube video. Today we're gonna be playing Minecraft, and we're gonna be checking out all the new stuff that came with the uh, 1.17 update to console. Uh, to my understanding, this is only the first half of the 1.17 update. They're gonna be adding in the second half. I think somewhere around towards winter. I know that the warden and all the blocks relating to the warden, like those candles and whatnot, are not in the game yet. All right. So first off, we're gonna be starting off with looking at all the new blocks. Um, we're just gonna go through the lineup here, really. Alright, first we got a block of raw iron, a block of raw copper, a block of raw gold, copper, oxidized copper, wax block of copper, wax exposed copper, weathered copper, exposed copper. That's gonna be the first row. I know a lot of people weren't too happy about the changes made with how the ores look. I personally find no issue in the new ores, or in how they look, I mean. All the people that are complaining about it are mostly just nostalgic people, and really I see no problems with them changing how the ores look. It, I guess it adds in kind of spice to the game. Um, there are a lot of fucking copper blocks. As far as I know, copper is literally only useful for making a spyglass and lightning rods. That's literally it. I could see some of these making some really cool uh, blocks for some builds. I don't think that it was really necessary to have so many copper blocks, but it's fine. The only problem I'm having with it is that they decided to do all these other blocks for just copper, but they didn't do it for gold or iron. But that's completely fine by me. Alright, on the second row we're going to be having wax weathered copper, wax oxidized copper, cut copper, exposed cut copper, weathered cut copper, oxidized cut copper, wax cut copper, wax exposed cut copper, and wax weathered cut copper. I feel like I repeated myself a lot. I'm not sure if I actually repeated any blocks. Cut copper. I guess not, I'm just waxed and shit. Second lineup, there's nothing too special, it's just the additional copper blocks. Like I said before, I do see a lot of potential in using these in different kind of builds that you could do. Overall, these are decent blocks. I don't have any problem with them. Alright, now we're going to be moving on to the second row of blocks. Um, first off is a really interesting item. It's apparently a glow item frame. I'm not necessarily sure how it works. Actually, let me turn it tonight and we'll see how this looks. Uh, this isn't glowing. I'm not sure how this works. Do I need to hook it up to redstone or something? I'm really not sure. That's fine, whatever. Next up, we have lightning rods. Um, so essentially with these, you could bait lightning to hit a horse or a creeper or something, get a supercharged creeper or a zombie horse, skeleton horse. Basically these are just used for baiting the lightning to hit it or hit something around it. Next up, we have Dripstone. With this Dripstone you could either have it on the ground or you could have it on the ceiling, it doesn't matter. What I know is that if there's dripstone and there's a lava source on top of it and you put a cauldron underneath it, it just keeps dripping lava and you can fill up the cauldron and basically have infinite lava, which is actually pretty good. It could change the meta on how um, <clears throat> people cook shit in furnaces and I could just keep using lava buckets if it's infinite uh, lava. You could definitely make a big ass farm of dripstone. This Next we got a dripstone block, but it doesn't really look anything too special actually it does look kind of cool honestly you could do some cool stuff with that in some builds next we have moss carpet uh this is basically just grass covering from the ground just decoration although it will be good to cover like mob spawners and everything for your creative builds if you have any mob spawners that you want to put down we have moss blocks you could see the obvious difference between this and grass but a little bit hard to tell you could definitely do some cool things if you like mix it up with the grass, make like a cool path with it or something. Next we have rooted dirt. Okay, sorry about that. I just changed it to the day so you can see the stuff better. Here's the moss again. Looks pretty nice. Here's the rooted dirt. It's just different looking dirt. Uh, hanging roots. So it's literally just shit hanging from the ceiling. There's nothing really too special about it. 
obviously adds more, more decoration, more possibilities for your creative builds. All right, next up, we're going to be moving on to some of the plants. Um, there's going to be three new kind of plants. I'm assuming these new plants are related to a jungle. Here's a lot big drip leaf. Uh, I guess water can go on it and then it... Oh, what the fuck? Yo, you, may, you can make like a little ramp out of it. That's actually sick. All right, so I guess if you place it down and you jump on top of it, it folds underneath your weight. Oh, and it goes back up. That's actually really cool. I like that. That's really dope. There's a small drip leaf. Uh, you can't place it on a regular glass. You can only place it on um, this moss, which is fine. Uh, here's Azalea. I'm assuming it's a flower or something. I'm not sure. Oh, flowering Azaleas. Yeah, Azaleas are flowers. It's like a little shrub. It's actually really cool. You can see the... Um, whoops. You can kind of see the uh, trunk of it. This will really add in a lot of possibilities for decoration of your, your house or any sort of build that you're going to do. Um, this block, Glow Lichen, I seen it in a cave yesterday. It does actually glow. Let me just change it to night really quick. Yeah, as you can see, it glows. It looks really cool. I really like it. Next up, we're going to be looking at a block that I'm most excited about, and that's going to be Amethyst. Here we got Budding Amethyst. As you place it down, it makes a cool ass sound. Um, we got like the amethyst, amethyst crystals. We got amethyst cluster, medium amethyst bud. We got large amethyst bud, and we got a small amethyst bud. Looks really dope. It makes a little sound when you hop on top of it. I'm pretty sure, yeah, these can grow onto the walls. I know that in caves, um, there's like these domes of amethyst that spawn. I saw it in a loading screen, so I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Uh, with Amethyst, you can actually really only use it to make the Spyglass, which we're going to be looking at next. Uh, right now, it only has that use and the obvious building decorations, which I think was actually pretty dope. You could put this around some sort of cave build and look really nice. And then next up, we just got Tuff and Calcite. It's nothing really special. -y. Oh, I forgot about one flower, and that's a Spore Blossom. I can't put it on anything it's awfully strange okay well i can't put the spore blossom on anything but it's a thing all right next up we're going to be taking a look at the new items uh first we have a spike glass which is built with two copper and amethyst on top of it um it's really just for zooming it's actually kind of cool but i don't really know it's not the best in the world on pc you could or java edition you could just zoom in with a key but this is a pretty cool addition, I think. I really like this. Uh, next up is actually an interesting thing. It's a new animal. There's a bucket for it, and there's also the spawn egg for it. It's called the uh, ax axolotl, I guess. I don't know. It's like, I saw it yesterday. It's like this really weird salamander looking thing. It comes in a bunch of different colors. They can spawn in caves. I did see this golden one in the cave yesterday by lava. I'm not sure if it's like a fucking lava axid, <laughs> axolotl. They do actually have an interesting ability. Um, they will fight drowned. And if they get hit, they'll play dead and they'll have a regen buff. And until they regen fully, they'll just stay playing dead. But when they regen fully, they'll just come back. And keep fighting. So I wouldn't say they're invincible. So obviously you can just keep span hitting them if you're trying to kill one. I don't think you get anything from killing one. But it's just kind of like a cool thing. I don't know if you could tame them. I think it would be really dope if you could tame them. Alright, next up we're just going to be looking at some of the other blocks. Um, here we got Scoot. I don't know what Scoot is used for. I don't even know if this is new actually. But there's Scoot. It looks like a fucking booger. An amethyst shard you get from mining Amethyst. Copper ingot get from copper and here's how the new raw ore looks it's not like the old one where it's just like you know the iron ore block and now it's actually raw copper raw gold and raw iron it looks kind of cool it's a cool change in my opinion there's one more aquatic animal that was added and that is the glow squid for some reason people wanted to see a glow squid and they got a glow squid here we got it at night as you can see it get <laughs> close uh, I actually want to see what happens if you oh 
Okay, these salamander things do not like anything. Oh, as you can see, the glow star died, and it drops uh, glow ink sacks. I'm not too sure what you could do with these. I don't know if you have, like, glowing clothes or something. That would actually be pretty dope. All right, now, and last but not least, there is the best addition to this game, and that is a goat. <laughs> So there was that little voting thing that everyone was able to participate in. Um, everyone got a vote and got to choose what animal or what mob they were to add in next. It was between a goat, a vulture, and a frog. Honestly, I don't think having a vulture wouldn't be too bad because we need more flying creatures in this game. Um, but it's fine that we got a fucking goat. It's cool. I'm actually curious to see if they attack or not, so I'm gonna switch myself to survival really quick. Alright, so it seems goats do not fight back. They do not. No, oh, I just killed it. Wow, those goats are actually pretty weak. I fucking hit it with my fist. Alright guys, so that's gonna be the entire video. I just wanted to do this quick little video to just review everything and look through what's new in Minecraft. I personally really like this update. Will I be posting more frequently after this? Uh, I don't know, maybe. I know for a fact when Battlefield 6 comes out, which is coming out in October, I'm not sure exactly what date, but in October somewhere, I'm going to be sparing the shit out of those videos for uh, Battlefield because, you know, new games mean fucking more hype, and more hype equals more views, and more views equals more subscribers, and more subscribers equals a uh, bigger channel. Um, other than Battlefield 6, I'm not sure if I'm going to be making any other videos. I'll definitely consider it, but... I'm kind of lazy. But anyways, it's been your boy, Malarkey. And I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Later.